Well, I thought you'd change up the theme on me, you know. It would have been nice. Thanks very much for joining us. Good afternoon. This is the public eye on the bridge. I'm Ronnie Thwaites and the Honorable Colonel Charles, Order of Jamaica, veteran trade unionist and uh, public servant, is our co-host. This is the bridge 99.13579 on the FM band, the only station that reaches out exclusively to the diaspora, to Jamaicans and Jamaican lovers, first, second, fourth generation, infinity, it doesn't matter. Talking to all the people, not just those at the top or those at the bottom. Anxious that we find convergence across all of the ascriptions that divide us up as a people. We are one people. We need to have one view and up see ourselves prospering only if everybody else has a, an opportunity to do the same. That's the that's a principle that we are working on. That's we understand to be the ethos of the bridge. Join us in an hour's time for the global connection with Irwin Clare and Ira Jam in the New York City beaming out to Jamaicans where they have settled for the most part. The Bridge 99 FM that's a YouTube channel. We hear it's bubbling and of course you can download the Bridge app in the Google Play Store and the Apple Store. Sir Charles, good morning, good day, sir, and welcome. Good day, Ronnie. How are you doing? I'm well, 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 well. Let me take that back. <laughs> I'm going to say not how you're doing. I should say I see you're doing well <laughs> from what I can see. Yes. And when you smile, it means that everything that is inside <laughs> reflects on your face when you smile. I so tell that you. means you, 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 you're feeling well. Flatter, we will get you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Later on in this segment of the program, the uh, folk historian and trade unionist and former mayor of, retired mayor of Montego Bay, Shalman Zier Scott, joins us. He's talking about local government elect democracy and the fact that the elections are, don't appear to be uh, likely in February has been uh, this month, as had been thought, and other issues to do with public affairs. A man for the West, well known to both of us, Shalman Scott. And in the Global Connection, when that joins, Dr. Andre Horton, an economist from the university, a political candidate in the last election. Um, he has some views on the financial sector based on some very, very interesting research that he has done about the capitalization of our financial institutions, which deserves to be interrogated. Stay tuned on the bridge. We're happy to join you for the public eye. I want to start today, though, with some... We, we, we have some profound things to talk about from our experience. So, Pernell, what was your responsibility, my responsibility, as a minister of government to the people that we served? Um, were we responsible for everything, anything, good, bad, or indifferent that went on in our ministries? Well, put it this way, according to what people think, you are responsible for everything. What you think, <coughs> you are only responsible for the good things. <laughs> Listen no, to I mean, this man. No, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm responsible for a man who beat up a woman, a man who robbed a man. You mean in your ministry? Well, yeah, uh -huh. would, well, if it happened in the ministry, uh -huh. I would be responsible to get it to understand what happened yes. and to have it settled and explained. Yes. But I mean, outside, when I'm when I'm a minister anywhere in Jamaica, I go there, Mr. Charles, I want a farm work ticket. Yes. Mr. Charles, I look in a work. Even although Mr. you Charles, personally do not dispense those things. Put on, even for those who, uh, the politics, uh -huh. put them on the other side. Right. They said, Mr. Charles, don't worry with that. No, you know, as uh, far as you are concerned, <clears throat> yeah. you're serving all of us. All of us. I mean, I enjoy okay. that. Okay, when I do too. That. That's the spirit that we both have. Yes. But, but my, my understanding of Westminster democracy is that the minister is responsible for whatever goes on in the areas of, that are in, within his portfolio. And it's not a question of being personally culpable. But you have to take responsibility. And if you don't take responsibility, or you have this excuse or that disclaimer, then the people have nobody to rely upon, nobody to hold accountable. I am not going to be as <clears throat> literate as you are mm -hmm. in, in your description of responsibility. Right. I believe, however, if anything happens in a ministry or association 
with the ministry, you, as the head of the ministry, has the responsibility to find out what happened, mm -hmm. explain what happened, have it settled, or uh, some way, but you are the person who must do that. Now, because of the problems we have, it's difficult sometimes to say, boy, it's it, I didn't do it, but <clears throat> I'm responsible. Yeah. But that's right? what you have to do. Yeah, but Therefore, I would have expected the Minister of Finance in this in instance. Yes, I'm sure that he has nothing to do with any, uh, it, 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 any, any wrongdoings in stocks and securities or anything else. But like it or not, whether it was brought to his attention or not, he is responsible for what for, for the supervision of that institution by virtue of being the minister with responsibility for the Financial Services Commission. But you know what I will say, Ronnie? Uh -huh. And I'm going to give him some credit. Mm -hmm. The very time that this thing broke, mm -hmm. he jumped on it no, and no, he made presentation. Oh, undoubtedly, but that's after the fact. Well... Uh, you mean after the fact that the thing happened? And the thing, and the thing, no, and, no, but and what is evidence is that there was considerably warning signals before which whoever was in charge, whenever, did not take into account. Now, Dr. Phillips, uh, one of his predecessors, <clears throat> has said, yes, this problem was brought to my attention, and I did the following yes. during my tenure. Yes. Okay. Even now, to the point that I wanted to close it, no? That's a different, no, from, this, from, 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 from the present uh, way it is being described, where uh, even if I knew I couldn't interfere with it personally because that's not my ministerial responsibility. I cannot accept that. If you take that position, what are you good for? No. Hold on. Hold on. Even if I knew I could not give the directive, but having <coughs> known I am supposed to explain to the world what is happening well, there. Well, not, not that only that. I have that responsibility yes, and even to if say to me mm -hmm. and to others, mm -hmm. this is what is happening And there. even if the law says for good reason, that the minister cannot countermand the regulatory authority. Yes. The minister can call in that board and say, what you know, something is amiss here. See the report? <clears throat> you have decided to go along that road. I am concerned that you ought to have gone along another road. Explain yourself to me because none I, of us, I have to speak to the public. And none of us <clears throat> in the public, uh -huh. you nor mm -hmm. I, would be opposed to any minister, whichever side they're on, yes. who take that position yes. in the interest of all of us. Clearly, well, we have we have agreement on this then, and it's a very it's a very it's a heavy responsibility to you know, sir. Well, People are accustomed to 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 deride and curse politicians, yeah. yes, and ministers. But let me tell you, it is a heavy, heavy responsibility. Well, it can if, keep you awake at night. Even even Doctor Doctor Clark, him too. <laughs> I'm telling you that he put, 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 like put himself you. under some serious pressure. Us. And he has, he has been making presentation, mm -hmm. presentation mm -hmm. that many of us can understand. Um, but but, but there are those I'm of a, us who feel that he should have gone much further. But if I'm an investor, sir, yes. and, I, and I'm watching all of this from Brooklyn, New York, or from Hartford, Connecticut, or Toronto, Canada, anywhere people are, are, are picking up uh, public eye on the bridge with Pernell Charles and Ronnie Thwaites. What am I going to think? I'll tell you what you're going to do. What? You'd call your wife and say, book a passage for me, I'm going to make her for me money. I know. Not only that. Lord of mercy. I was going to, to, this, I was going to, to invest. Again. I was going to invest some money in Jamaica. Uh -huh. Hold it. You see that, no? That's exactly now, it. So. The position that we have oh, been yeah. put in as a result of what has happened uh -huh. at this no place pretty. is not good. So, in fact, it's not good for that particular entity. No, that, but that, it's not good for, God. as we did last week, yeah. for the whole <laughs> question of stock market yeah. having shaken yeah. because of what happened one little entity. Yeah. So, it, b, 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 two things. First of all, the regulatory system yes. clearly has not worked the way we expected it to. And therefore, this creates fear and suspicion that there may be other places where problems have been reported on but have been uh, have occurred have been may have been reported on but were put in a file and never brought to the attention of somebody who could do something about it but when you, you put that there i will go a little further by saying in every sector yeah it doesn't <coughs> matter how good it is right 
anybody who has money in there is yeah. going to take a look at it. Clearly. Clearly. And going to ask some questions. I do too. Is my money <coughs> safe? Right. I mean, take a look at what they've been saying. Have you received anything that's ever happened? Yeah. And be- this little thing has yeah. created a problem yeah. that is that move from a must to a cent. It has smell the smell and the whole system. Indeed, stink. The and the, the thing is that even when I invest and get a receipt, yes, I, <laughs> I am now obliged to say, is that receipt real? Exactly because Oy. when you heard that uh, uh, yeah. Bolt yeah. has been getting receipts all that his money is safe yeah. and, and it's not it's not passed from the desk. No. It's not inside. Yeah. To the point where, how could a board, several boards and several managers, mm-hmm. over a period of time, don't know that you have a man like Bolt in uh, your... T- well, I, I find would, that incredible. Which would be the greatest advertisement. Yeah, ordinary pe- indeed. Ordinary people would say that it's just lie. Yes? I can't, I'm not blaming anybody personally, but that yeah, is... It says that lie is, that they didn't know. It's lie that they can say that they didn't know. Well, hold on. They must know. Hold on. No, no, no. Suppose <coughs> the money didn't get in there. Oh, well. Suppose who carried the money to who they give? Go, go outside the door. It never reached inside. They might leave it at the desk, but, but it don't go in the books. But, it, it, but it, if it has gone in the books, but don't it, tell it, me that these managers <coughs> but who it reach, sit down. It reached in the, it reach in the, in the statement that the man getting. So if you, if you, are, if, <laughs> if, if, you are com, if your company putting out the Rani, statement, Rani, Mr. Charles. Rani, what happened to you? What happened to you? Lord have mercy. Man can make statement at them yard, mm-hmm. stamp it in, in, in the place, oh. give it back over to the desk, and oh. inside don't know. Uh-huh. Man can make statement inside so we, there. So if you know that, we, if, if that is possible, you re, like, I have to concede. If that is possible, likely even, then sir, the whole system is, is wobbly. Hold on, hold on. Let us, let us not stop mm. it there. Mm. Because that is possible, mm-hmm. the system tried to put up barriers right. to prevent that from happening yeah. inside. And the box stops where? Uh-huh. Hold on. Well, there's no book if you have a system like those people, the lady that we interviewed, those two ladies. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. And they told us <coughs> what they do at the stock market. Yes. Right? And they, it's like a barrier around your stocks. Yeah. A barrier around this your money. Forest. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. And a report come to you that the barrier is there. Mm-hmm. We are watching the barrier and we are satisfied. Now, if that cannot go out to the diaspora. Yeah. People are going to be asking, say, listen, my money is still there? Yeah. Am I comfy? Yeah. Or do I need to come for it? Yeah. Is there security? Uh, mine is going to be told like bull. Yeah. They know no, nothing about Got you. I have one other issue before we take the break. Just two minutes. Um, and that is to do again with ministerial responsibility, yeah. since that's something we have experience with. Um, Dr. Clark was heard saying that when, ad- when ministers change, files are removed are shredded are, are dispensed with and that there is no historical trade tr- trail trail over a, p- a particular um issue for example a regulatory's reports yes that is unacceptable sir when i uh, uh, my experience was that when you left the, um, the ministry your personal files left with you but <clears throat> issues to do with your portfolio Issues that, that, that included reports of this school or that municipal corporation that Mr. Charles had responsibility for, whatever. Those can't leave. No, but you carry some personal file away. No, brethren, we're not Trump Hold or on Biden. Me. You no, carry, no, no, that. You carry some personal file away yeah. that have been some very important. No, thing. no, but you, you can, you, you can Maybe you may you have copies, not. but you can't carry, you, you, can't, you can't cause the public interest to be bereft of that paper trail, which is the only thing that's going to protect them. I heard somebody on the radio say, uh, that is why you have a permanent secretary yeah. that briefs the minister yeah. and all of these... Impo- I heard that too. How do you sure yeah. that you get a briefing and everything? Well, Particularly see, when not only the minister change, but the party change. Yeah, but you see, if, if we can't assure that, then the people the people rightly will reject us because they, they, we, are, we, are, we are not only in unnecessary competition, but we are actually complicit in treachery. No, I am not saying that it doesn't happen. Because Wrong. The, perma- the permanent secretary. But the, minis- the is minister is telling us that this is part of his problem. Yeah, that yeah. even if he had looked, he couldn't have seen behind him. No, the behind him was Mr. Shaw, and behind Mr. Shaw was Mr. Phillips. And he, he, the, the Minister of Finance, who we respect, 
I saying to us, look here, we could, I could not have known because there was a change of ministry, minister, and the files would have been destroyed or removed or something. That is unacceptable. I mean, and never your, know, in, we in never your, know said to go so. In your case, yeah. you had not changed a permanent secretary? Well, but even so, but, but, who, 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 who have that responsibility? No, but, but you can't get away from responsibility whether you are permanent secretary or minister. If it happened in your, in, in your house, a youth you know about it, and a youth for the people look, look for, and if you know, if, if you know, can't do that, then you have only pay excuse. Let me go. Where you good for? Let me, we, let me, we, we are driving big car and, and call honorable for. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you one up. I let me give you one up. It is your responsibility yeah. to ask the questions, yes, sir. to find the answers, you get no excuse. to know mm. whether you report them yeah. at cabinet yeah. or Thank to the you. public. And, and therefore, I, we end this, this segment of the public eye by asking that in the stocks and securities issue, are we sure that that was done? And if we are not, why not? And if why not, who is responsible? Add one thing to that. If that wasn't done, do it now. Well, I, I accept that addition, sir. This is the bridge, 99 FM, and this is the public eye. When we come back, retired Mayor Shalman Scott from Montego Bay joins us. Stay tuned. 26 minutes afternoon in Kingston, Jamaica. This is the bridge. The program is the public eye. I'm Ronald Thwaites. My co-host is the Honorable Pernell Charles. And we welcome the folk historian from the West, Shalman Scott. Morning. Afternoon, sir. How are you? Afternoon, Ronnie. And um, Mr. Charles is there as well? Of course. I, I, I am not going to Gre take it. I'm not greetings, going to greetings, greetings, my other brother. I'm not going to take it like that. I, I am I, my other brother, so Ronnie. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Fr Ronnie is saying to me, I don't understand what it means. So let me understand. We were a trade unionist together. Yes. He's in the Montego Bay side. I'm from Kingston to join him. Yes. Then he became mayor when I was minister of local government. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Then uh, with him, we, 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 uh, Montevideo become a city. What? Is that so? Uh, um, Shalman. Shalman? Yes. Right? All of yes, these things. Yes, uh, Montevideo became, became a city. Um, yes. Uh, what, what it was actually, um, yes, so on the 1st of May, 1981, the, the, um, the Governor General, uh, who was it now, Sir Clifford Campbell? Would, okay. No, I don't no. think so, Sir Clifford. No, it, because uh, I don't think got, I had Campbell. I didn't catch. It, I was Minister of Local it Government. It would have been Sir Florizel. Florizel, Sir Florizel Glasspool. Oh, Sir Florizel, yes. Yes, yes. Quite a while back, right. So he was the one who, who commissioned. Uh, made it. First of all, Parliament passed the law. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Um, to, 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 to have the Governor General now making the declaration, which he did on the 1st of May, uh, 1981. Yes. And um, I pointed out to the Governor General why the 1st of May would be a, a useful date to, to, um, to make the announcement, because this was, was, in fact, not the first time that Montego Bay was getting city status. Yes. Um, and Montego Bay got city status on the 1st of May, 1796, really? after the deep water harbor was built. Yes, yeah. 1796. Um, yeah, 17, 1st of May, uh -huh, 1796. 1796 was when we first got um, status as city. Uh -huh. Interestingly enough, before the city of Kingston, which was 1872. Listen to me. We can spend time the whole time on, <laughs> on history if you if we only allow you two gentlemen today. I, 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 I am finished. I just want to make the point that Got why you. the big city Kingston is yes. up there. You were. I, 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 I just want to make the point that we have been together a long time. Older than the city of Kingston. Got you. Shannon <laughs> Scott, you and yes. Pernell Charles in different stages and times have been... Yes. Have, have been leaders of local government. I, I uh, believe in the principle of subsidiarity. 
which is yes. that no higher authority should do what uh, a, a lower authority can ca usefully carry out. That's a, 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 a partial summary. But I am now becoming disillusioned about local government. One, because right now in Jamaica, many uh, of the divisions are without representation, either because the councillor has died, or because he left out, or because he's migrated, or something. And secondly, because the councils seem to be um, agencies whose, whose integrity and whose uh, full purpose and efficiency cannot be, cannot be guaranteed at all. What, what? And add, add to that, Ronnie, yes. I don't think that what we, you and I, and yes. maybe Shalman too, yes. expect a councillor to do, yes. that he has the financial to do assistance from so, any government. Yes. I mean, when, so, you, when you get, when you get a $10, $10 million, it can't fix one road. So we are asking Mr. Ch Mr. Scott, as a, a veteran local government officer, to comment on the state, the utility, and the, pr the future for local government in Jamaica. Shalman, help us. Yes, well, b b local government uh, um, is necessary because... Um, it is an important underpinning to the whole business of governance with the member of parliament and and then at another level a local level where uh, uh, somebody from the respective communities can be elected to assist in the aspiration of our people both at the local level and also at the national level and so it is an important <clears throat> underpinning to our democratic process. That's a theory. What's a practice? Y yes. Well, the practice has been that there, it, it is working, but there are challenges and difficulty because, again, the operation of the parliament, the operation of a member of parliament, the operation of a parish councillor, they all operate within the context of the state of the economy and the level of credibility and honesty that are attendant on the operation of that economy. And so we have um, individuals who have committed themselves to the service of their people and without hesitation or equivocation, they are, they are able to do their best under the circumstances. The, but they, we, we know, and, and the history is there, where there have been others who become um, smart alex and, and try to, to do the wrong things. And um, I hope that they, would, they will get away with it. Sometimes they do. Other times the people... Be, um, get sick and tired of them and, and vote them out of office when the opportunity shall have presented itself. Why are you being so so general though, Mr. Scott? I mean, because really, the, the public has a very low estimation of local government. Um, I, I'm going to be uh, extreme now in, and ask your, yours and Pernell's comments, but many people, for example, with, with those who deal with uh, permits that are needed for building or development and so on. Feel that unless you know somebody in there in in the in the municipal authority um, who you can who will push something for you, it 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 not gonna work. And also that basic functions like like public cleansing, like um, b b uh, street lighting, uh, emergency services, the the the. The councillor has no more equity, no more power than the average citizen to call up the agency who is involved in it. They, what can they do? Well, the, the, the 2016 general elections, which had, was an exercise to elect members of parliament, and the, the, the 2020 general elections uh, told us a very um, interesting story because in that 2020 general election, it was only 37% of the total electorate in the country that went out to vote. So stop a minute now. Uh, if you had local government elections uh, in this month of February, as they were originally or la la latterly suggested, what, what would be the likely turnout? Less than, more than, roughly the uh, same uh, as? Uh, uh, it, usually local government um, turnout in the, in the respective parish council divisions 
are are lower Watch than the general elections turnout. Yeah. But the point I'm making here You should see Pernod smiling. We, we, we <laughs> have to see, we have to pay attention to the fact that that 37% turnout in the last general election, what it meant. What it meant is that the, the government that is presently in office, out of that 37% turnout of electorate, got 21%. And, and the opposition got 16%. What it means, therefore, is that if the government in office got 21% out of the total electorate, 79% of the people in this country did not vote for the government that is presently in office. Well, let me and ask you. Also, 84% did not vote for the opposition. Can so ask, it is not just about a local government matter where people, uh, political apathy and, and disinterest are growing. We are seeing it manifesting in the, in the parliamentary elections as well. Bernal. Shalman, listen to me carefully. Yes, Water, light, garbage collection, basic school. Health like toilet but and primary, this and that. Public health. Public health. That a, a counselor should be fortified to, to 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 work with the people. They don't have they don't have the the, the the garment the fortification to do it. People are asking: Is there need for local government? Because the MP is doing the same thing with the little let him get. And I'll tell you something. I, I am not going to make any prediction. As a former councillor, as a former deputy leader of council, as a former union man, and a former minister of local government, I am not going to predict what the next vote will be for local government. Well, when but you I, will, I, will, I will say to you, look back, even in national election. If you don't have a crisis, you don't have... The, well, look on the three times that we have over 60%. What was happening that time? Okay, I grant you, but that still doesn't explain... That doesn't take away the predicament that Shannon Scott speaks of. Uh, yeah, pre precisely. And, and um, because in truth and in fact, what we are seeing is a progressive increasing decline in... The interest of the Jamaican people in the political process, whether it be an exercise for local government elections or an exercise for general election, parliamentary elections, the fact of the matter is that we are to pay attention to the numbers and understand what they are saying. But uh, the, the other part of it, of course, has to do with the state of the, your economy. And all those things that Mr. Charles have spoken about, it requires resources for, for um, adequate response and satisfactory response on the part of the local government um, representative to make to those persons who elected I mean, to make to, to the it is our her parish council division. No, but stop, stop a minute, please. Both of yeah. you gentlemen, much more experience in local government than I've ever been. Um, it, it is more than just resources. It's a, it's, it's a question of responsibility. Yeah. How do you explain for that me... That goes without saying. Yes. How do you explain for me that a councillor in a division who is the closest elected representative, responsible political person in the state apparatus to the people in that division, yes, if the garbage is not collected, the only thing he or she can do... Call is, Kingston. Is, ...is call Kingston or the nearest, nearest place and beg and beg that, yeah. they, that there be value given for the property taxes that the people are paid for. If they don't pay for it, it, go, it, it they go to court. And that, that is ridiculous. And that is why I say, Ronnie, Water Commission, yeah. local Water Commission, yeah. goes to Miss, Miss Brown yeah. house and cut off the water. If the MP in Kingston or the MP someplace don't do the local government man can't do anything. Can do nothing. I want the garbage in the market yes, him can't do anything. Okay. And then the Auntie, toilet, the school. Uh, indeed. The Auntie, school the school in Main Clan and didn't have any food. Look at that. Look there at are that. counselors. There are counselors. Yes. 
So who, <laughs> if we did not have them, uh -huh. we would by now have even more social, serious social unrest in respect to our political system. Yeah, but their backs one are wrong. One of raw. the things, Ronnie, one of the things, let me, please, let's, let's, let me make this yes, point. Yes. One of the things about the local government system is uh, the accessibility of the local, local government representative in relation to the accessibility to the, to the member of parliament who, of course, has to be in Kingston a lot of the times for all kind of, because of different yeah, sure. reasons. The fact of the matter is that had it not been, because we, we have been, I have been talking about some of the negatives. One of the positive mm -hmm. that has been contributing to social stability in the country still yeah. is the fact that people can find the cons, when the uh, frustration and anxiety reach them, most of the time their counselor lives in one of their community communities in close proximity to them. But he or and she is a eunuch. They can, they can find them to get some response yes. for their anxiety or their problem. But, but yes, so but the that, counselors uh, are playing a very important role, not all of them. That is opium. To, to, the, to our to national stability yeah. and, and, and in the country. Yes, sir, but that is opium. Because you go to the councillor and the councillor can do what needs to no, be done. No, Rani, no, Rani, Rani, that's, no, 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 no. We have to be careful how we generalize about that. Okay, because correct me. I was a councillor for 14 years. Yeah. And many, and I also was in, I was leading a group of councillors. Uh -huh. and, and from, and we were able to do things that the member of parliament to and to which assists the member of parliament why only don't clean pear river cemetery no, but or may pen cemetery you can't even do that see no, i can no, fold you out run it run it run it run it run it let me say this to you but it's Pye the council cemetery is closed running enough to clean the councillor the councillor has a responsibility uh -huh. what where the councillor and the member of parliament works very closely yeah they, they, it works well Oh. There are roads in a constituency. The people satisfied? No, 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 they're not satisfied with national, much less international. Oh, well, I, I that's just local. Well, <laughs> oh, no, that's what we, that we're after. <laughs> the point is this. Point is this. Uh -huh. You have some very good councillors. I, I concede. Who, I know who, them. Who, who go to the market? Yes. Who talk to the? Yes. They, but the parish council is sure. responsible for certain things. Sure. You know, right. Where you have a problem, and you said it earlier, mm -hmm. is that they can only report. Yeah. They don't have sufficient funding yeah. to do Understood. something and that for is, the people. And that is deliberate because they're considered to be un deliberate. unworthy of, of, of proper funding being devolved to them. But then it, it, in all this context, though, before time runs out on us, I'd like to ask Shalman Scott. So given all that context, Shalman, pro and con, what do you think about the continued postponement of local government elections in Jamaica right now? We have had precedence for the postponement of elections in Jamaica, be it local government or general elections. A more more time local government postponement, sure. and um, there is provision in the in the in the law. No, we know that for for, for those postponements. Yes, yeah. and um, frankly speaking. Um, I don't know that the Jamaican people are in any mood to be going back to any voting um, in, in the short order. So election the, depend we, on mood? Uh, no, no, we, of, of course, it's, a, it's a, the question of, of apathy or, or interest. Uh, all under, is underpinned by mood. Man you, get, man, man, you get me having to agree for the first time at last with the Observer editorial. They normally don't write good editorials. But no, 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 no. I am <laughs> saying that. You can, you can dispute and give me instances, but today they're speaking about fixed date elections. Do you, do you eminent gentlemen, graduates of local government, do you, I, I do you support that? A, a fixed date for election... Yeah. Um, what we need is a fixed date for prosper, economic prosperity in the country. God will and come everything first. Will, and everything will flow. Everything will... That is the underpinning that we need. No, and that's that right, is where we're having a serious what problem. What a determinist. But that's not what we're seeing, Shalman. If, what, things, what if things get good in the country, people don't even get a chance. People don't want to go vote. 
Uh, look well, back to 1980. I, I don't know. Look, I, I don't look know. At, that is a matter of hold on. serious, look on this serious, serious analysis and, and discussion. Yeah. I mean, what we, was a, we, what, we don't have the time to what, really get no. into so, that so because what that was a political why sense people students. are motivated by the service they get from their member of parliament and the service they get so, from their council. So, when, so they go out to vote. When they don't get that service, they turn, keep away from the poll as Chuk they did in the last general but election. But then, no, Mr. Scott, tell me before you go mr charles yes um if if given that given all of that analysis yes when 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 will the mood of the people be ready for a local government election in jamaica well um <laughs> when you said the, the, the people are you using your words you know <laughs> yes but but the fact of the matter is that we need to understand what is happening with political opposite the dynamics of it is due to a number of ma factors, both at the national level and at the local level. Mm -hmm. We have to continue to, to work on those. Mm -hmm. The tra transparency is needed at both levels of government, be it local or uh -huh. central. So do you see that? is needed. Do you see that being attended to? Uh, do you see those things attended to? And if not, what, what is wh where are we going? By some people at some times. Uh -huh. And then what we get is a, a whole lot of, and then you have the other set of people who especially know that things are getting thin <clears throat> economically and otherwise. What is happening is that some are now um, influenced to... To take care of their own interests at the expense of the of the um the large, the, the wider majority. As what a, what uh, about Sharma? What about the politics of somebody saying, "Me not see nothing better can come." So me not interested. We can see here. We. Well, you saw that playing out in the thirty-seven percent um turnout in the last general election. All right, and but, also that the present government that is in power is twenty one percent of electorate that have elected the government to win a landslide victory. Well there was and a the time. opposition is also even in a worse position. And so the the bottom line is that there are some things we have to decide on. We have to decide on what has been the cause that the many causes, of course, that have been holding us back and those that we are capable of doing something about and start doing it. And one of the things that we need in our national politics, both at the central government level and the local government level, is more honesty and straightforwardness in the interaction between the elect and the elected but it, there's no priority on that on on that because oh, for for for, for the peop people are forcing the priority running i hope they're so not, they're not going out to vote and do you the, sense and that as i said the government in the financial in crisis is right now one percent of electorate 79 percent of the electorate no, in but sir, did not vote for sir, the government that is in office no i accept that but then the, the, the a political interest whether it be jlp or pnp provided they get one more than the other that than the other side they're not business if it's 31, 51, or, or, or 5. I, I well, it is, that, is, that on, is that short sightedness that has caused the, 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 the continual slide of the voter turnout? Yeah. I mean, between 19, 2016 and 2020. And there's not what the, you observe there. And there's nothing, as, what concerns me is there's nothing to change it. That. Yes. The there's a consequence for that. Yes. When, when people have to find ways and means to survive right. and um, without help from those persons who have committed themselves to do so yes. then they feel disappointed yes. and become inactive well, that, and, that, and that, i i have a fate. difference between both of you yes. if i look back uh -huh. to some of the at least three elections yes. where over 60 percent of yes. the population vote uh -huh. i can analyze why they voted? Of course, there was a crisis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but then. So hold on, hold on, hold can on. Can you build a society hold and a nation you, and that? You could also say that there's, there's a continuous crisis, but there are certain types of crisis yeah. that allow people to get up and say, "Boy, I mean, I want this up." So where does that put you, though, in terms of? I'm not saying put. Yeah. I am saying running. What caused people to come out? Yeah. Maybe, maybe mm -hmm. we have to have a three-day vote. 
because a man who need to go to market, him not, him, him, him not go vote and not go to market. Nobody go work on the election day. But anyway, that I understand. Anybody, the, anybody who no are vote. serious about voting, find they will place. find time to yeah. go and vote. I want to when ask. When they are not interested, are only very um, partially Margin, interested. Marginal. They will find marginally interested. They will find. T all kinds of reasons to stay away. Before we go, we have a minute or two. Tell me, gentlemen, yeah. um, uh, Haiti, our near nearest neighbor, and should be our, in, in, in many respects our dearest neighbor, um, is in a state of chaos by from international news. We know we we, we have we hear little about uh, events of Haiti in Jamaica. Um, Prime Minister Holness is quoted between yesterday and this morning. Yesterday, I think, in the House, as saying that Jamaican security forces um, could be uh, deployed to participate in some effort to restore order in Haiti. The question arises: Jamaica has a, has a acute crime situation. We are told that the police by themselves cannot handle it. The army has to be perpetually deployed in ways that the law never envisaged. Nonetheless, despite all of that, we are going to go hit if you do what? No, I tell you what we're going to do. Okay, sir. If the Caribbean yes, sir. islands... What are we the Caribbean come up quick? No, hold on. You and I know it come up long time in my head. <laughs> yes, sir, me too. Uh, but I am trying to tell you, <laughs> mm. if we as brothers in the Caribbean... Uh -huh. See what is happening in Haiti and those it can come, yes or two. Yes, sir. And the rest of us say, listen, let's put a package together mm -hmm. to go down and help my our brothers and sisters. We did it. And the Jamaican government said they're not participating. Uh -huh. I resign. Okay. All right. So it's a question of, of regional solidarity, Sherman yes, Scott. It's regional I, solidarity. I, 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 uh, regional solidarity is very is very important. Uh -huh. Um you know, as part of our our week going forward as a collective group of of people in 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 this region uh -huh. but the fact the fact of the matter is that we have to decide on our priorities right it is we are not without the problems that it is is having it's just a matter of the extent of the problem you're right and, and, you're and right. we must find a way to also authorize it there. Um, try to to um, ensure that whatever assistance we can, limited assistance we can give to AT, we extend a hand, but there are serious problems that we have to deal with here. And if they are not dealt with by now and the middle of, of, of this year, the next holidays and after the August holidays, we are going to start to see some some additional Whoa. problems I have one, emerging I have one in the country. Second to yeah, tell you. Sure. What, what is happening talk? in Haiti, uh -huh. if we don't join together uh -huh. to cauterize it yeah. and to stop it, it's going to be Don Kingston. That is what Sherman is saying. It's going to be in a Jamaica. Well, the same thing Ooh, I'm saying. Same thing. Same right? thing. So, Gentlemen. So, oh. Join us, Salman. Yes. We have to join oh. and help to stop it well, there or I, else I'm just all of us going to smell with it. I'm just thinking of the impact of what, it, the, the truth of what you're saying or the likelihood, the fear of it is going to say to our diaspora audience today, but never mind. Um, we have to counter that. We have to talk it as we see it. Shalman Scott, thanks so much. We always welcome you, sir, on the on the bridge. Uh, all right, thanks, Ronnie. All Ronnie. the best. Bye-bye, Bernard. Bye. All right, Mayor. Good. <laughs> I, have a, I have an issue to raise with, with, with Chief Charles before we break. Eh? Yes, yes. Yes. Um, I, I feel a pain for your son, the Minister of Agriculture. Yes. Over this weekend, in the Sunday Gleaner, I don't know if our audience all saw it, 400 head of cattle at Windalco, the bauxite company, owned by the Russian people, used to be Alcan, which boasted the finest beef and dairy farms in Jamaica. 400 cow being left cruelly to die in Jamaica. Jamaica where... All of us, including the minister, are, are urging for, for, for food security. Yes? Beef is eaten. Yes? Cattle have value. We're trying to revive and revere production. What do they say that cause it to die? What? Them, what, them what say part? they don't feed them. Right. Why they say they don't feed them? Because, we don't know what they say. They don't have no feeding? Is but, that what they said? But, but, that, but is, that is not true. Them send them, but, uh, I hear Mr. Fulton of the Agricultural Society said that we have known from the outset that they, they said that they're interested in the Russian people. Derry Pasco, Mr. Putin's friend, 
<laughs> you know, Mr. Putin, friend in Jamaica, you know, daddy. Yeah. And, and yes, <laughs> and he, they, they said, I'm interested in bauxite. They're not interested in agriculture. And so they left the cow. So, and we make that happen. But then hold on now. Some man who got teeth, the one like a cow, I and saw. Mr. Brown have. And hold the cow are dead. They would have called the four, 400 the biggest teeth in Jamaica and said, come no, here, no, take no, the cow. No, 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 no. What I am saying, <laughs> where cow put on when nobody not. Why you not go after them, the cow? But, but this is because they lock up in a pen. And, and left without water and food. That is a scandal. Not only is it inhumane and against the Jamaican spirit, because we don't do animal I, like I, that. I am going to say I don't believe that. Until but I, you I know, see the picture, sir? You see the picture on the ground, the, the calf dead on the ground, the others lit on, they can't even save some of them. The ministry is going, go, going down there today. Where is the agricultural officer for Manchester? Where are the radar people? But even so, who, what, what is in the mind of these people who come here and get tax incentive and get away with a whole heap of money and scrape off the earth of this country? Yes. Let me, let me and, 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 and then they, they have these animals. Yes. Value to, to the Jamaican people. Particular value to the agricultural sector. You, you know, no, not to the agricultural sector. To the nation. If you were a member of parliament yes, in a country, it could happen. Me not, no, I don't think so. Me not think it could happen if me was the MP. No, sir. That 400 cows are dead for hungry, for hungry. In, a, in a my constituency. Yes, sir. Where, where, where you can't let them go eat water yes, and sir. drink. Yes. There's something else. Well, but I believe that. I believe that. Well, but 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 I believe B b b that 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 act activity this this the situation there <clears throat> and it is a reproach that any how anybody could make this they should be charged for cruelty to animals and they should be charged for malicious destruction of their own property what i think say that. one thing i should have to say it requires government to lead yes and if they cannot take care of them, yeah. government should take charge of that. Well, this is the, 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 this is what is said is going to be considered, and it's it's late, but nonetheless. But but I'm I'm always looking behind the incident. You know, what is the mentality? Who 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 can walk past? As you said, who is a, whoever is a member of parliament, a councillor, the, the, whoever go pa see these 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 animals just declining and being mistreated as a story on, on which has been no no effort has been made to refute it this is it and then you have to you th this is what jamaica has come to but since you know about it, tell me how did they get all of those calls oh, oh, they, they, who, who they, who them? apparently it is from it is a remnant of the alcan herd i am thinking of people like dr keith wellington you knew of him yes P dr lecky before Dr. Him. Yeah. Number but one in the, the world. Well, look at this. Dr. Wellington gave, I can see his face in front of me now. He gave his life for the, for, for the upliftment of that Alcan herd. Yes? Using the work and the, the breeding that Lecky had done. This so is a, this, 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 to me, that, 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 that synthesis that Lecky did is of, a, is of a international significance equal to Bolt's um, Usain Bolt's oh, yes, record. Oh, yes, yes. yes? Or Bob man, Marley's song. The, the, and that we threw away? And make the, make, 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 make the cow dead out there? I'm dead and rotten on the ground? I am, my God. I, am, I am going to satisfy myself yes, sir. by doing some investigation yes, sir. Okay. because I cannot accept no. that those cows that have been given to any entity yes. and they treat them like that. No, for them cow. But, but, how, but how do we get it? Them get it because they were they they they, they had this herd they they own this herd and the government and government don't know that them don't want it. Well, as as a Jamaican agriculture society, which is half dead, whole, uh, unfortunately, running. they are I saying no, what about the cows in the other places? You hold me to yeah. come back next All right, week, sir. good, because me telling but you, you the something poor, not the, right. The poor minister must be crying tears uh, at well, that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This sorry, is the bridge, ninety nine FM. This is the public eye. Sorry. When we come back, we join the uh, the uh, the hour that we spend, the global hour which we spend with Irwin Clare and Ira jam there's much more to come stay tuned you'll only get it here thanks very much for being with us on the bridge 99 fm this is the public eye and we join for the global hour with erwin claire at ira jam in new york city erwin greetings and what is it salutations greetings and salutations man to, to, to the rev and to the chief <laughs> <laughs> i told pernell already for the day you know flattery will get you everywhere 
<laughs> well, I tell, well you, I, tell, I tell you something, Erwin. Yes. I just love to be flattered. All right, all right. <laughs> the chief, the chief and the rep. Gentlemen, I, I must tell you, I must tell you, though, it's a, it's a first I'm in studios here in New York for 2023, and it's a brand new studio here at Ira Jam 93.5. So we are off on, and I'll say running, as Ira Jam, as you know, celebrates 30 years of, of providing information and a platform for a community to communicate and share information. Congratulations to I, them. I, 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 I want to congratulate you because I know that Bridge has a lot of confidence in you while they're able to do this around you. But frighteningly, Bridge is raising cane from Canada to America to London. That connection is raised a hell of a step. Indeed, indeed. And a necessary one, especially in these times when the importance of, of information to our community is so, is so critical. And, and, as, and, and, and yes, I'll jump right into it. We are indeed very concerned, but I believe we have the assets in place to, to ensure and engender, mitigate, and assure our population of, of the way forward. And that, that's what we're all about. Some of last week, we, 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 we got your initial comments on uh, persons in the diaspora, what they would be thinking, how would they be reacting to the uh, wobbly uh, financial news coming out of Jamaica. A week has passed. A lot has been said that you would have monitored. Um, what, where, where, what is the barometer reading now, Erwin Clare? You know, last Friday, I, I had the privilege at being at the press, the press conference for the launch of the Gibson Relays. And um, Usain Bolt was a guest speaker. I, I was surprised to see him there, but, you know, he did, he did present himself. As he said, he had made a commitment. And once he makes commitment, he delivers. And in his speech, he mentioned to the latter part about his belief in his country that he has not given up on Jamaica regardless of what's taking place. I think that message helped resonated very positively across the waves. And it probably sends a kind of message that we probably don't feel we hear from our leaders. Because what we hear more of gentlemen is it, it, it would appear as if there are political points to be made or, if, or, or people are circling the wagon or, or people are not being as forthright. And, that, and we're talking about leadership of the nation. And, and, and so his statement, I believe, was a profound one as being one of the persons with the most exposure to date. Okay. And, and it sent a positive message. Can I stop you there? As far as I'm concerned, if Usain Bolt had not been given the Order of Merit, which I believe he has already, he would have deserved it for that statement. That's right. Yes, and it is a statement that to me is bigger historically and morally than even 9.57. Mm. Yes, because mm. what he did as a man who is exposed and likely to suffer as a result of the fraud of other people, he's saying, look here, I am seeing this in the perspective that there, I'm, I'm going to be, be patient and, and wait for legal processes to take place, and I'm going to hold my faith with my country and my Indeed. people. Indeed. My God, man, if, mm. it, if he, just, just think, Pernell Irwin, if he had not done that, yeah. If he had if he had sent the signal that many less some persons might have that boy look what you do me um, I'm 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 vexed I'm uh, this uh, can you imagine what impact that would have on your diaspora Erwin Clare indeed and, and that is why we we took the the liberty of playing his message here on on Ira Jam last week and we will endeavor Repeat to it, do man. so. We'll Repeat endeavor it. to do so because I, I it's important. The opportunity. I don't know the man personally, but believe me, Pernell, I was I, w I was really impressed by his approach, by his demeanor, by his character. Yeah. Well, I want I want to take the opportunity on behalf of the three of us, yeah, man, to congratulate him. Yes, because and to invite others, Ronnie. I can see a lot of people take a deep breath mm -hmm. and and come down when he said, True. I'm not giving up on yeah. my country. <coughs> and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they are going to say, boy, we, uh, let's stay here yeah, but because of him. But, and, but having said all of that, uh, Pernell Irwin, we have an obligation 
Yes. To back him up. B- to back him up. And and there is a there's strong social media pressure, Erwin. Yes. I don't know if you're yes. seeing it. That yes. come one way or another, they must get back his money. Yes. 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 And uh, that's the other part. And, and that's what I think people are looking to see. And, and, and as he gets back his money, and let's understand this, you know, Usain Bolt getting back his money also means those who have lost their money getting back their clearly, money. Clearly, <laughs> you clearly. You see, so, so, so that is the representation there. You know, you, know, you know, the fact is that, you know, he is the, the, the brand at this particular time, and, and it, has, it has not served us well based on the stories that has emanated from what has transpired. So what well, I would just like to just make a statement which is going to come back. I say to you, Ronnie, and to Erwin, listen out. This can't go as we hear it. It mm. can't go so. Something is somewhere. But, but you, see, you, see, you see, Chief, For Chief, years, for I years this is happening and nobody know? I know. But Chief, you see, the, the imagery, though, and those who are at the leadership, supposedly managing this, we have to be very careful how we present this going forward. And that is not to say that there aren't um, persons to be blamed, etc. But once the imagery starts going out there that it has now drawn a partisan line, I think it makes it very difficult for even good thinking and good thought processes from our leadership going forward to be sold to the general population. So yeah. I believe that at this point here, we must be very mindful as to how we manage that type of information, how we deal with this thing, recognizing what we're saying to Jamaica from the diaspora perspective, I would believe, is this. Let's put Jamaica first. Spell out what that means, though, because that cannot, that cannot be, be interpreted as, as, as an excuse for uh, withholding criticism where no, there has no, been failure. No, 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 no. And, and by dilatory uh, or, or diversionary behavior. Without a doubt. Yeah. You're, and basically we're saying is that those persons who right, wrong, whatever, we have to recognize that we have to resolve this issue in the interest of Jamaica. Some people will have to pay a price in the interest of Jamaica. That's what we're saying. Because well, if, well, it's, I, if it's not going to go that way, then, then we, we will be circling the wagons and we will not know certain things and, and we'll have this challenge. Last week, you know, the Bridge and Irish Jam found itself at another critical point. When we were able to say to the world that as this crisis is taking place, there is a stock market conference taking place where you on these platforms the head of Massey was to come out and redefine his confidence in the system those are good points you know more of those statements also need to be made yeah and they have to be based upon well maybe action may, maybe yes. you should maybe you should say let's keep the politics the party politics out of it and the national interest must dominate because i think that will both hit it right he said, yes. in the nation's interest, mm-hmm. in Jamaica's interest, mm-hmm. My, mm-hmm. My, my, I am coming, I'm going first with them yes, sure. before anything else. Sure. He, and we, 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 if, if, there are, if the, the investigations have to take place, but there has to be an openness and a willingness to acknowledge. Yes. yes. And not just transparency, but not just mouthwater transparency, but mm-hmm. actual transparency. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. I, uh, Julian Robinson, um, the opposition spokesperson in finance, has said, let us see all the records of the Financial Services Commission involving s- stocks and securities. I accept that, or, or I, my position is that he is correct. Except that any um, and any element of it which would which on release would prejudice the investigations should not in fact be released at this time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that would be the only exception. Correct. Yes. Correct. And 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 so let us be very clear what is happening. And it it has to go. I was amazed last week, sir, because um, Erwin, you were there monitoring us and with us. Everybody who we were interviewing at the stock market. Um, conference was saying that they had, had had their doubts, their concerns about this particular financial entity. Yes, <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Yes. So, 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 if 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 the private sector knew, <laughs> no, co- wh- 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 why was government agencies investing in there? Uh, that, that's a part. Now. Finish it for me now. <laughs> I don't understand. Everybody seemed to know, but we everybody had taxpayers money involved in it. Yeah, yeah but uh, that, there's something else that is frightening. Because if you know and don't do anything, you're not protecting your, your people, you're not protecting the nation. 
and those of us who are listening abroad want to know that their interest is being protected, not in a partisan way, but in a national interest, the one that, Bur that, 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 that Bolt has said, I love Jamaica, I am staying in my country. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, well and, and, and it, it involves, frankly, you know, gentlemen, a, re a redefinition of what we mean by, 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 by politics or how politics is done. Because b b I am not being politics, b political and, and, and wrongly partisan if I point out that something should happen in a, or should have happened in a different way, you know. And you happen to be on the other side or I happen to be on the, on, yeah. on the wrong side. That is not. That is, that is responsibility. Mm. Yes, it is where I'd seek to exploit it and 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 to to, to purvey what is untruthful or which is prelim, which is preemptory. That is when we have to draw the line. Eh? Indeed. Listen, before we go to the break, I just want to touch base because I know in the next segment we'll be talking some more about this. I gather we have Dr. Horton on. We do. Um, Tyree Nichols, of course, the youngster who was um, oh God, that <laughs> bastardized that last week. He's, he's being buried today. Um, yeah. Reverend Al Sharpton is given the eulogy. And, you know, he pointed out something today and he mentioned, you know, because, you know, the race situation <laughs> is uh, unique in this situation. He says, regardless of where the police brutality is coming from, whether it be black, brown, white, whatever, it is police brutality that they have to root out. And this is an unfortunate situation. We see this happening too often in our communities. But again, here we are bearing another black man who has been um, killed by the hands of the authorities that are there to, to serve and protect. But there are large numbers of persons, Erwin Clare, who, who argue that police brutality does not exist. There are <laughs> yeah. large numbers of persons yeah. in Jamaica who excuse it because we all know that them is criminal. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, w w when you look at that video with this man, on w what is the basis? What could be the possible uh, justification for an officer of the law whose authority is that of the whole people of the jurisdiction that empowers him to kick a man on the ground? And yet, I can tell you in my 50 years of law practice how often I have seen this in this in in our time. And people say, "Don't watch that." collateral damage because we have to we, ha we, we have to don't we have to kill crime and don't we know about those people whether they are black people talking about black people or white people talking about white people or, or across the, 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 the racial divide indeed, indeed. yes we, we have we, we're talking about a conscience we're talking about a morals indeed um, well, Irwin yes uh, he wasn't looking at me when he was talking you know <laughs> <laughs> but him joking me you know <laughs> Yeah, right. because, well, listen, listen, because, because he knows I have a lot of respect for law and order. That is not but, law uh, and but order. But I will never yeah. support that is this not law order. And order. That, mm. that is a perversion of it. Right? That is in denial of it, and it happens daily. Uh, thanks very right. much for this. Yeah, We're joining you on the bridge. This is the public eye. When we come back, Dr. Andre Horton, the economist, he'll join us. As we rejoin our friends, at the Bridge 99 FM in the Global Connection with Ronnie Tweets and the Chief himself, Colonel Charles. <laughs> you know, <laughs> while we wait for Dr. Andre Horton to join us, um, we, we, a reflection that I want to make is that uh, in respect of the Tyree Nichols case and so many others, George Floyd, uh, it, it was it was a camera that made the difference, you know. Indeed, yep. indeed. If, if somebody, if, if you <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it would say, have been say it for me. Otherwise, it, we'd be talking about it right now. No, There's another black man. There's yeah. another black man killed. And, and one of the things that the government of Jamaica, governments of Jamaica, have been unable, unable to to enjoin is now is what is happens in the United States, where the police must wear their body cameras. What well, was that a body camera survey or it was the yes, CTC? Both. Both. both, 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 both. Yes, but and nobody was there. Where is the Jamaicans? Mm -hmm. You, the Jamaicans, have such high-powered uh, cell phones now. Yes. <laughs> they take everything. Well, they do, um, and 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 so and so we are. We, you're depending on private citizens of, of, of people observing and so yeah. on. Mm -hmm. And from my own experience, sometimes the police will one of the first things they will go for in a in a confrontation is everybody's phone. <laughs> and take it and mash it up. Oh yes, sir. Listen, yeah. I, but listen they, to me. But, I know. The, I know. Uh, but they, they will also. They will also be well. 
be concerned that they're wearing camera. Yes, but and it will prevent them from doing what every, they really in every, mind want to do. Well, sir, every mm. law enforcement officer must wear a camera and must also all this. The, another thing that happens in Jamaica, Irwin, I don't see it in the states. We put on the hood, mm. so you yes, can't you can't yes, see the, the man, the, yes, the yes, man, and yes. you you wear you wear camouflage. And you, you you ask a policeman for their number. What is their service number? Yes, right, and right, you right. get you get a whole heap of cloth. Indeed, <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know, gentlemen. No, no, no. As, as we, as we, as what do you mean? <laughs> we, Listen to me. <laughs> we, uh, it's uh, twenty-five uh, years. Uh, I represent the urban. Uh, yeah, you mean you, you, get, you get a lot of clothes, <laughs> cloth, clothing, <laughs> clothing. In, in other words, let's, listen. Uh, the, the other part too is this, and this is something that I've gotten questions on. I know the new traffic regulation goes into effect today. Yeah. Que questions are being asked too. Um, what happened to persons who get traffic traffic ticket with a overseas license? How do they get on the system in Jamaica to oh. see if they have cleared? Some people have had difficulties even paying online because of the international. How do they handle that portion of it? You know, I do. And I haven't know. heard. And I haven't heard anything on that yes. side. Yes, I haven't. I, I I must look at the law again. But I would have thought that whatever the reference number of their ticket would be uh, uh, enough to identify mm -hmm. it and allow for its disposition, right, right. whether Apparently they're not. pleading yeah. guilty or not yeah. guilty. Yeah. 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 But um, it is something that it, it, is a, it is a very crucial question because we want more and more people to come and to rent cars and to tour yeah. the island yeah. and to do those things, eh? Yeah. Yes, and, 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 and so the facility for them, facility if, they get for a, them. if they get an infraction, they're not yes. going to be there for a court, but they will pay the fine. Sure. It must be a smooth operation. But, but I want to, to, to challenge Pernell because, Pernell, this, this, this notion that a, a judge in a court is the appropriate arbiter for a traffic fine. That is that is nineteenth century, you know. So, so tell me something. You you can have it both ways, you know. I can't have it both you're, ways. You're, I'm not you're, trying. Hold on, you've been trying to go it on both sides mm -mm. this time. What I think? All right. Here the man accused me. Well, I was, I was, because <laughs> I want to come chief. out He's of it. He's a chief. He's a chief. <laughs> I want to come out of it. Yes, He's sir. a chief. You think uh -huh. that the politician uh -huh. who carry this law, no, get it passed, yeah. pass it to the police. Uh -huh. And you are now saying to the politician, forget the fact that it's a law. Mm -mm. Forget the fact that it's no, to be I operated by the police. You must now go and say to the police, put away the ticket. No, I'm not saying that at all. What, you're saying? what I'm saying is that the law needs to be sharpened to have fixed penalties for particular offenses, which the police will uh, prescribe and charge you for. If you if 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 you think the charge is 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 wrong, if you th if you say you're not guilty or you're accused of something which you didn't do, even if you did something, then you and only then you go to court and the matter is dealt with as a judicial process. But in otherwise, if you are dispo disposed to pleading guilty to acknowledge that you did what is on the charge, the, the ticket. Yes, then pay to, the to go and clog up courthouse yeah, for that yeah, it's a waste of time. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, but and even even if we have that provision, but it is it is it is restricted for a for for a particular time. But Randy, yes? that is that that is not the problem I have. You know, yeah. the problem I have is that somebody is saying the government must intervene. The government must drop this, drop that. Drop the money. Yeah. Drop this. No, no, that's a, not in, not not in favor of that at all. Eh? The government. It's must a question now of efficiency. So I say. Not jurisprudence. Hold on, mm. and mm. I, I have a solution for those who have a problem with them vehicle. Quick, you know? quick for me. If you have a if you have a ticket, and if you drive tomorrow morning, you're going to get locked up with it. L leave it. Mm. Leave the, the vehicle in your yard. Well, leave the vehicle at your yard and go and get your ticket clear, and then you go for your vehicle <laughs> because. No politician can tell a policeman, say, listen, man. Don't do it. Don't, don't Not touch him. No. Got you. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Houghton is with All us. Right. He's All on right. Zoom. How are you, sir? Welcome. Good day. Good day, gentlemen. I'm OK. I'm OK. Good to see you. Got it's a real interesting <laughs> show. <laughs> 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 well, 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 Dr. Houghton, check this out. You have, you have two gentlemen over there representing 
200 years of politics. I, I, I'm just, I'm new in the game. So I'm learning. <laughs> but, the, but the future lies with Andre and yourself, you know, Erwin. <laughs> Andre, I, I know Ronnie is saying the future lies with you. I am not sure which of us. Mm. I have 51 years there. <laughs> Ronnie has some 30 or whatever it no is. No less. I don't know which of them, which of us you should choose <laughs> to follow. But I will tell you, there is need for upgrading. Uh -huh. of Indeed. The past. Uh -huh. Indeed. So, Indeed. So, what, what um, Andrew Hart, you're too young, but the, I, I come from the day when people would stand up on the corner of Hope Road and say, we'll follow Buster Manti till they're dead, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And some of those people are still, still around. Some, some of those people are yeah. still around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what I have to say that some of us have followed Buster Manti till him dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah. Uh, still and we're still, still following Buster Manti's philosophy. Ah. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Horton is an economist, and he is um, he he has expressed views. We want to canvas them and interrogate them here. Um, we, uh, Andre, we th this program is particularly uh, voiced to the diaspora, the Jamaicans abroad, who we want to invest. Many of them have, have taken the invitation. Uh, at the outset of the program, when we uh, uh, summarize what has been said and done over the past week, I asked Pernell, what would be the thinking of the Jamaican living abroad who has invested in Jamaica? And his reply was that he would want to buy a, a ticket or tell his wife to book a ticket because he was coming for his money. What is your assessment? What can you, what word of frankness and of hopefully of encouragement can you give to people like that? I mean, this is a really good show. It's really good to be speaking to two wise heads like yourselves. I think that's a bit harsh. Many people looking on might believe that, I mean, the, the, the financial sector is, is now and a big catastrophe and the, the external shock is going to be so pervasive it's like a, a the equivalent of a hurricane across jamaica uh but 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 it's not so when you take a look at the the market capitalization of a company like for example ssl i think they represent a probably about two percent of the total financial industry capitalization and that that's 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 not a significant amount for us to be panicking about the reliability of the institutions that exist here in Jamaica. No, but hold I on, mean, sir. I want to believe you. But there are a number of people who say, if what happened there, after all the ministers said, after all the FSC reporting, after all who did was chairman and chief executive officer of which, and said them never know, or them, 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 them did talk and nobody listen. How we know it not happening in other places, please, sir? Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be very difficult for us to ascertain that at this moment. But if you take a look at, for example, what happened in America in 2008 with the global financial crisis, there was insider trading with a lot of these firms, Bernie Madoff, et cetera, et cetera. And there is also negligence on their behalf in terms of granting loans that they know would underperform to people who they know could not satisfy these future obligations and that that led to a wholesale catastrophic uh, collapse of the financial system in america and that doesn't prevent a one from saying okay we are not investing in america it didn't prevent a one from saying okay america now the entire industry has become suspicious and we're taking our money to china or to the uk what happened was that the government intervened and they assisted the, 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 the industry to, to regain its footing by, by reassuring investors that the, the country has within it the, the, the level of, of, of financial debt to be able to, 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 to buffer and, and cushion the, these types of, of, of shocks. Let me, let me play devil's advocate for, for us. Um, we, we have a situation where a company, albeit only 2% of the, uh, the, the total, total investment, um, is able to have a qualified audit report, which says that you, this company, unless drastic action is taken, may not be able to continue in, in, in business. We have a situation where the Minister of Finance himself is asking now, how could auditors 
um, have been engaged to, to offer satisfactory audits and then um, Tiffany is still going on. Does that, what, what, what are people listening to us abroad? What comfort are we there to take when this is uh, a, a, maybe a limited or a small, but nonetheless a very stark abuse of their, their trust? Yeah, it's a real tricky thing when you're dealing with people and money in you know, a running. Like my mother always said that you have to be careful with people and money. And I'm saying that to mean that in these institutions, you do a lot of ethics classes, you do a lot of due diligence courses, you do a lot of corporate social responsibility, all types of courses to teach people how to be responsible with the funds of others. But with, with, with this modern world and this quest towards greed of acquiring all the material wealth that we can at the expense of others, there are going to be dishonest people. And if, if the people are dishonest, and, and, and you have to face it, I mean, when they look around them, they're, they're seeing scandals with politicians here and there, with politicians, with contracts, with this, that, that. And they're saying to themselves, these people are enriching themselves off the box of the country. Why not enrich myself off the box of these clients that I have here? No, but you saw that. Like be as honest as you guys who are hosting oh, okay show. no no we well we, the, the the point is you sound as if you're defending us or explaining a situation um how serious is this what is what what, what where, where where does the box stop um where is where is the fault where does the fault lie and who will do the correction who's going to give right. you say so, mon so, so let's, back so, his so money let's think about it carefully right here now this has happened at a significant pivotal time in the history of Jamaica financial sector. What do I mean? We, we are at a transitional phase when we needed to understand where all these fault lines exist, which we will never know, but at least now this has highlighted that more care and due diligence must be, must be taken in terms of supervising these institutions. and. The FSC, as well as the Ministry of Finance, now has brought in the Bank of Jamaica as a, as a supervisory body. And they now must figure out how are they going to, with the aid of technology, the use of blockchain. I mean, we were having a discussion, and my discussions are normally solution-driven. And we were talking about, for example, the email system that if you, for example, is running tweets and he's Pernell Charles, and you have an account with an institution, for example, I have an account with an institution that I can send an email and tell them to transfer money to other people. If you have such an account and, I have, and, and, and they say, okay, run it that tweet at gmail.com or run it tweet at gmail.com, these, these forensic auditors not, must now be able to go through and say that there's a difference between both emails. Now, very similar to when I lose money from my credit card, I get a, a text message. You can also be, be given those prompters as an investor from these companies, yes. whenever money is leaving in your account based on an automated system. That, that's good. So therefore, yeah. you can have a check and balance, you know? Mm -hmm. Doc, I, I like that idea. Go ahead, Erwin. Doc, Doc, Doc um, from the perspective of what people see and hear now, and I, I have confidence in the banking system, understanding how it works. And, and yes, it's onerous uh, for the persons who are investing or putting their monies in. But this is what we hear. We hear that the system is safe. But at the same token, we see these things happening, right? My question, the FSC, which is a regulatory oversight entity, who does it report to? Because obviously, if it comes down with decisions on an institution, is there somebody whose responsibility to follow up based on what, in this case, the regulatory has said about the particular entity? Who follows up on these things? Because I'm, I'm looking at this thing as a lay person. I'm saying these issues, some issues were highlighted here, which seemed not to have been addressed or were papered over. Who yeah, really there, oversees there, that? There seems, to, there seems to have been some level of confusion as to who the FSC should report to. Uh, I had a discussion with, with Bruce Golden on a similar program to this when we were discussing whether or not the FSC should have been reporting to the Ministry of Finance or they should have been reporting to the Bank of Jamaica. And at that time, we, we, we rationalized 
that the FSC should be reporting to the Bank of Jamaica, which subsequently it was announced on the, the TV that the Bank of Jamaica now would take responsibility for the FSC. The fact of the matter is we need checks and balances, and very similar to how we have EPOC, which is the Economic Policy Oversight Committee that has ushered the transition of the nation's economy under successive IMF agreements since 2013, we know, given the, 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 the fragility of this situation, we now need a similar type of intermediary oversight committee to ensure that not only this particular discrepancy is addressed, but also other types of discrepancies that might arise. So we need experts to come in, and we need those experts now to act as a buffer in between the Bank of Jamaica and the, the FSC to make sure that these things are done and, and we are not exposed as we did that, that, last No, night. hold on, no, I have to no. ask, because I, this, this, this referring to the Bank of Jamaica now, if you have the Bank of Jamaica carrying out this function, where the FSC good for, doctor? <laughs> All right. But before yeah, before I mean, he answers that, Ronnie, Ronnie, we, we are up on a we are up on a we are up on a local break here, okay. Ronnie. Okay. Sorry. Let's take that? a break, Andre. Hold on. Oh. Thanks for joining us, Andre Horton. Um, you were going to reply to to Erwin when we broke. Is he there? Yes, I'm here, Ronnie. No, I'm asking. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. What was the question again, Erwin? No, I, I think I think Ronnie no, was no, your no. question regarding the Bank of Jamaica. Now that the Bank of Jamaica has assumed that super role, well, it now finds itself in a in a very powerful position. So why position. do you need the FSC beyond the Bank oh, of Jamaica? Oh no, the FSC now it would be like, for example, you have a ministry and they are the overarching, and then there's a department that does this particular job. For example, at the Bank of Jamaica, you have a financial stability department. You have market operations department and so on so that oversight would probably now be like a department that now falls like under that regulatory body type of arm, okay you know? so when when a, when a, when a, an, an investor has a query has a concern uh where, where they must go consumer affairs hey no Lord have mercy. Yep. <laughs> Doctor. What is, is it that? by email? Is it by email? No, come on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you ring, 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 ring a ring of roses. have to be tabled uh -huh. as a third party. Remember, I am not now in a position to really dictate how they will operate. No, we're asking for suggestions. The Bank of Jamaica now will have to now outline how these things will function in, in a particular roles and responsibility of these departments and agencies. No, more than ever, we have to be transparent in how we approach handling the people's finances and also the opportunity that we give them to query these sort of discrepancies with their accounts. So I think the Bank of Jamaica now have to step up and they have to be clear in what their mandate is and how they will enable people to feel safe about their investments. Dr. Horton, let me say this to you, and I, 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 I am say very serious about it. We need responsible leadership that is going to transmit to the nations, our people around the place, to gain that confidence. And I, I, I want to congratulate you. You have come here with a sort of bold approach, a Jamaica first. That's what I'm the feeling I'm getting. And as an intellectual in your in the in the profession as you are, you need to say to Jamaica, where can we find that confidence? Where is that leadership and how do we proceed? We need that. Give us that. What thank you for that, uh, Andre. Yeah, I, I saw a fire burning in in Jacksonville the other day did you guys see it yes i saw it quite unusual uh, in a place like that don't you think or it's a it's a often thing it's a frequent thing it's a frequent thing would you imagine if if that fire a, a massive breeze were to come and blow that fire straight across the length and breadth uh, of that mountain terrain coming across the blue mountain spreading across the entire island can you imagine how terrible terrible that would be yeah the the financial industry like that mountain ridge 
on, on, on the soil is, is, is the backbone of, of economics in the country, you know. We've, yeah. we've gained significant improvements in our outlook to the rest of the world over the last 10 years uh, through the work first of, of Dr. Peter Phillips to stabilize our relationship with the IMF and then the continuation of, of that foundation through the fiscal rule that was established. Uh, Jamaica successfully uh, came out of the extended fund facility agreements and successfully entered and, and overcame also standby arrangements after that, which placed the country in a favorable picture to global investors who are looking for emerging market economies to invest their, econ their, 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 their excess capital that they have. Now, they can go anywhere. I mean, when you look across the world, you have seven continents, you have about eight different regions of scattered islands, as well as you have other small countries who have presented themselves holistically through low corruption, through better political stability, through higher productivity levels, which are the output of their labor force, are in a position to attract more capital than, than we are. But we have been making these strides in order to now create this look to the rest of the world. And we want to keep it that way because we, we want this fire to be contained right there where it began and, and not contaminate the rest of the country to the detriment of, of those of us who will benefit from the, the, the future development of the sector and, and where the country is headed. And, and what are the measures yeah. that, are, that need that to be needed. done now? I mean, there's a yeah, very so, so, pointed so, so, so one. So the measures now, basically, as you, as, you, as you quite rightly have seen, is that we need an intermediary oversight body now to check and balance. We need international forensic scientists who understand these regulatory breaches that can take place within companies to come and forensically audit them. We need to implement blockchain solutions because blockchain reduces trust in human beings with trust in machines, trust in algorithms and mathematical formulas that without garbage in, garbage out error will be more, more likely 100% foolproof. So we definitely need to infuse this level of technology in our processes to yes. enable that it is more secure. We, we definitely need the, the, the FSC and the BOJ now to be more vigilant in their approach towards over, oversight with these companies. And more, most importantly, we need both private and public companies to start reporting to shareholders, investors, and business interests their day-to-day -day operations, how their expenses are being covered, and how they have been making profit mm. on these markets. What about those who have lost? What, ha what, what, what ought to happen to them? And that's one question, and a f second and final to you. What is the responsibility of the, uh, of the, of the portfolio minister in, in, in all these circumstances? Those Both who have present lost. and I really future. Do, I really do feel it for them. I think that now they should be compensated. The SSL must now figure out how they are going to compensate these people. They only have one million US in insurance, which I find is a bit <laughs> suspicious comparing the yeah, large. Like, what a mild man you are. Yeah, dereliction of duties. Dereliction of fiduciary duties. You know, you can't have a portfolio duties. of over 100 million US and you only have insurance for one million US. Something. <laughs> is not right there. So there are a lot of, I don't know what word to use to describe what is happening there, but something fishy. <laughs> you know, something, something Dr. Horton, I and, said it to my colleague here this morning, that standby, there must be a frightening report coming out of this investigation. It well, is impossible, in my opinion, for all this to hop around and somebody don't smell it. The uh, last, well. the last question we have for fa Dr. Horton, though, is this: What is the responsibility of the the minister with responsibility for finance? Is, is he doing it? The, the minister has an overarching supervisory role of everything, both fiscal and monetary policy. Even though the Bank of Jamaica is independent, but they have the authority of how policy is coordinated for the country. 
they should be held responsible for what has taken place here at FSC. And I think that the country should hold them responsible. These pensioners should hold the ministers responsible for what has happened because now they are the overarching body and they should have ensured that these honest pension paying Jamaicans, these honest Look at Usain Bolt. Look at what he has done for, for a country like this. He, he, he did not have to be here. He could mm. be in Switzerland mm. or somewhere else, but he or chose Saint Lucia. to Or St. Lucia. Anyway, gentlemen, Lucia. We're, we're just about up to the top of the hour. And, and fi I, I know Ronnie said finally, but those Jamaicans overseas who are who have been reached out to, to invest, we will continue to encourage them to invest in our country because like you said, <coughs> we need to contain that fire on the hill. But at the same token, we need to ensure that the financial viability of the country, which is so important to our to our existence, continues. Dr. Andre Horton, thanks and for a very balanced and approach. And you can be sure thing. that many fire stations are put on standby <laughs> if anything yes. is happening. Right. I think so. Right. Thank yes. you, Dr. Horton. Thank All you, Erwin right. Clare, for the global connection. Sure, we sure, look forward sure. to the link next week. Have a, have a wonderful day, Jeff. Thank you, too. And we thank you, Chief Charles, for a spirited discussion today. I think next week, I have something to tell you, see? You do. Because when you go to your bathroom mm -hmm. and do a flush and there's no water and start to raise hell. Yeah. How many hundred people you think get water from mountain to come to you? Oh, when Lord. you switch on the light yes, yes. and it don't come on yes. and you start to raise hell. Have you ever asked yourself where it come from? Yes, I, and, and it's important to... Light and things, water. I'm going to tell you next week granted. how many hundred people make what light That's come into you. That's a preview of coming attractions as they say <laughs> in the movies. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Lafayne. Thank you, Romy, for all the company and the facilitation today. It's time for the Bridge 99 to return to its usual program. Until next week, this is The Public Eye signing off.